What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? So today I'm going to be showing you how to use sensors and actuators in combination with Python. So you would be running sensors or using sensors to detect and then uh, using Python to respond by either either through Python code such as apply movement or apply rotation or such or through uh, actuators. So what I'm going to be doing here is first of all we're going to add a collision sensor. What we're going to be setting up is uh, actually let's select the cube because that's what we want to control here. Uh, now you notice all we have is always and the, Pyth and the Python controller. What we want to do here is we don't want the player to be able to move except when he's on the ground. So uh, we don't want him to be moving while he's in the air. You notice now when we run it, let's say we raise him up over here. Uh, I can move while I'm in the air and I can rotate and such. Maybe you don't want that, right? Or you want more restricted movement in the air. You want a separate set of values for air movement. So we're not going to allow him to apply this kind of movement unless he is on the ground. So to do that, we'll first of all have to have a way for the cube to know that it's on ground. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select the plane and give it a property called platform. and then select the cube and add a collision sensor and make it detect a property called platform because that's what our ground is going to be called now next up we're going to connect it to our Python controller notice that we're not con uh, connecting it to an AND or uh, OR controller we're just connecting it straight up to the Python controller now as it is uh, the Python controller the Python script doesn't know what's connected here so we can set a name for this and the name here does matter if you're gonna be uh, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna make the Python script get this control this uh, sensor excuse me so and to do that you'll have to give it a name now it already has a collision uh, a name called collision uh, it's named collision but you might not want that or if you have more than one collision sensor you can't have them all called uh, collision that would be confusing and it wouldn't work properly so you, let's give it um, a name on ground that's the one I like to use so now when the player is on ground this sensor is gonna send a true pulse that basically means that it's gonna say okay whatever is the condition here which is that the players colliding with something called a platform if if uh, that is happening then this is gonna be true or it's gonna be positive uh, it's gonna send a positive pulse a true pulse if he's not on the ground it's not going to be positive and it's not going to send a true pulse and that's you're going to see how that uh, affects our script uh, soon so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the sensor and to do that let's say let's make a let's put a comment here sensors and this is this would include all our sensors which is only one in this case uh, that we want to get always is already there actually you don't need to get it in the script it just works on its own so we're going to get the collision sensor now which is called on ground so we're going to put let's call this on ground this is a variable name it's going to be a variable as well so you can call it whatever you want you can call it uh, ground or you can call it uh, grounded or whatever you want to call it I'm going to call it on ground and then I'm going to hit cont sensors and what this does is it says okay for the controller that's controlling the script which is this controller get the sensor it's with an S sensors with this name and we're going to use square brackets to input the name and then we're going to use quotations because the name is a string value so we have square brackets here after sensors and then we have quotations it can be double quotations or it could be single it doesn't matter uh, and here we're going to put the name we put over here so it's going to be called on ground so now what that's going to do is there's a variable called on ground what is that variable it is basically the sensor called on ground which is attached to the controller controlling this script what's the control controlling the script it's this one uh, is there a sensor called on ground yes there is now if there is no sensor called on ground you're gonna see an error in the console it's gonna say that uh, it doesn't exist or something like that uh, but we do have one so it should be fine we don't need to set true level triggering here it's gonna be active whenever the player is uh, colliding so we don't need that and now uh, what's gonna happen is basically it's gonna detect now it doesn't do anything right now we have we can uh, detect collision but we're not doing anything with it right now so let's do that now what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna set an if statement what we're gonna say is if on ground which means if the on ground sensor here dot positive what this means is if the on ground sensor 
here is positive is sending a true pulse that means it's activated when is it activated when the player is colliding if it is being activated then in this section we're just going to indent all of these to be under our movement there so format indent now to explain how it goes if the player is on ground these things can be done if he's not on ground it's going to totally ignore this so we can only control our character if he is on ground dot positive can be used with sensors you can't put dot negative that doesn't work uh, if, if you want to detect if the player is not on ground what you can do is hit the invert button here and it's going to send an invert uh, inverted uh, message uh, but that's for a different uh, thing so if you want off ground you can hit invert but in this case we want to detect if the player is on ground we want a true pulse if the player is on ground dot positive means it's activated so uh, yeah you use this with sensors keep that in mind and remember that you can use this with any sensor as well it doesn't have to be collision it can be any of the other sensors here you can even use keyboard sensors if you want so if on ground is positive then you can do these things and if we test this out I can't move in the air I land on the ground I can move now if I move off of the plane I can't move anymore it just falls due to gravity so that basically puts a restriction on our character what we can do here is uh, make it so that we can only move him in a limited we can only rotate for example if he is off ground so what we could do for that is just move this back unindent it basically and now it's gonna work without uh, having the player to be on ground basically as I said uh, indents count in Python so if this is indented that means this has to happen first before this stuff can happen since this is unindented then these uh, this on ground dot positive statement and whatever goes under it can happen at the same time as the rotation so now when our character drops we can rotate but we can't move if he's on the ground we can move and rotate if we fall off the plane I can only rotate I can't move so that's basically putting a restriction on our character uh, now the next part is going to be using uh, actuators in combination with uh, with Python so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a plane and this will be sort of the death plane if the character falls off of the ground plane and touches this we're gonna make it a red plane just so it's more visible here because if everything is gray you can't really see that well new and I'm gonna give it a red color here and this is sort of the red plane of death okay let's it's a bit too dark still dark but it doesn't matter uh, when we run this we can see here that uh, our player can fall onto the plane here and it's gonna stop there now what we want to do is we want him to die to restart the scene once he falls off of the main plane so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna go back to our cube and add a scene actuator and we're gonna it's gonna be set to restart by default so we're gonna call this restart and remember the names do count in this case if you're going to be getting uh, sensors or actuators uh, in your script and here we're going to create a section for actuators and you get sensors and actuators the same way so we're going to call this restart call it whatever you want but it's a variable name in the end cont same thing as over here dot and then actuators because this is an actuator same thing square brackets and quotations and we're going to call this restart so now we have our restart actuator included in our script so what included in our script so what we can do now is we're gonna detect collision uh, we're gonna call this uh, let's say we're just gonna call it death or whatever it doesn't matter call it whatever you want uh, you're gonna have to change values though so collision and we want a new collision sensor here for the plane of death so we're gonna call this death and we're gonna set this to death as well so it's the same setup as our on ground except with different uh, different names and we're gonna connect it and here under sensors we're gonna go back and call this let's call this restart the variable name equals cont sensors and we called our sensor here death so we're gonna set it to death so basically now we have two sensors the on ground sensor and that detects if the player is on ground and we have the death sensor or the restart uh, the death sensor which detects if the player is uh, off the
this plane and on this plane. 